God bless you and greetings to you in the wonderful name of our living Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ, Yehushua HaMashiach, and God our Father, Yehuah Elohim. Um, I received this these words on the 12th of this week, Wednesday, and they go as follows. <clears throat> Son of man, write, as is happening in your nation, North America, Europe, and the UK, there is a deep freeze happening in much of the land. Some of my people's hearts towards me grows cold. Even though during this time of preparation, I am beseeching my people to get ready for what lies just ahead, some of my people grow weary and say, I have done all this preparation. Now let's get on with it. I am tired and I want to go home. While I can appreciate these feelings among some of my people, they are woefully unprepared for what lies ahead. Woefully unprepared. Tell my people that through the extraordinary efforts among a few of my children on special assignment, the enemy juggernaut has been seriously weakened. This small group of my people, along with other small groups of my people, are actually doing battle and performing works for me during this transition period so that when the final countdown begins, Satan will be in a much weaker position to launch his new world order than he thought. There are surprises, my children, surprises that no one knows about other than me and my son Yehushua. There are those on both sides of the conflict, people on both sides that think they have things all figured out. I assure you, son of man, that they don't. I have deliberately withheld some information from being revealed yet. It is sealed up, <clears throat> hidden until the proper time. I am the great I am, the most high Elohim. Only I know the end from the beginning. Only I know the complete scenario. There is not one jot or tittle, not one minute speck that I don't already know about. Things aren't always what they seem. This is why I must, my people must continue to seek me out constantly. There are many turns and twists that lie just ahead, and I don't want to lose anybody. My bride is diverse. My body of Yehushua is diverse. You need one another. Each member is unique and I place each of you exactly where I want it to. You, my children, must seek me out and allow me to guide you exactly where I desire to place you. Each of you are dear and precious in my sight. Many more are finding their way to Yehushua and me. This period of time you are entering into is tumultuous, a time of great upheaval and continued up to evil for some, and for others it's a time of deepening their fellowship with Yehushua and me. The days of darkness spoken of in my word approaches. Continue <clears throat> to work while it is yet day, for the night time approaches when men will have trouble working. My children love one another, don't attack one another. Yehushua died, gave his life, shed his precious blood for all who would accept and believe on him. You are members in the body with Yehushua as the head, not some self-appointed brother or sister. If Yehushua didn't appoint them to have rule over you, then you need have no fear of them. Trust in me, trust in Yehushua. Trust in the Holy Spirit who gave you. When it comes to understanding the times in which you live and the circumstances which you find yourselves. If a brother or sister walks disorderly, then my Holy Scriptures explain what to do. All things are to be done in my love as commanded in my Scriptures.
as my scriptures teach, test the spirits. Compare things with the scriptures. Walk by the spirit where there is no condemnation. Remove the beam from your own <coughs> pardon me, from your own eye so you can see more clearly to remove the speck from your neighbor, <coughs> excuse me, or your brother or sister's eye. Love the Lord your God with all of your heart, mind, strength, and soul. Love your neighbor as you love yourself. On these two commandments hang the law and the prophets. Keep your eyes and heart, mind, and strength focused on Yahushua and me. And we shall guide you, provide for me. <coughs> I'm sorry. <clears throat> provide for you and protect you during these difficult times, which lie just ahead. Keep looking up, for your redemption draws near. In such an hour as you think not, the Son of Man cometh. Pray that you be found worthy to escape all these things and to stand before the Son of Man. Fear not the things of this world, for I have overcome this world through Yahushua. For greater is he that is in you than he that is in the world. When the dominoes start falling one after the other, and you lose your electricity and internet, remember the words I have given you by way of my messengers. My words will help to sustain you in times of trouble and adversity. Don't allow yourselves to become too distracted when the dominoes begin falling. Keep looking up, for your salvation draws near. And listen to the Comforter, Yahushua, has sent to you. Study my word and pray, 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 as I have commanded. Reach out and bless someone as best you can. Stay attentive to my voice, and I will instruct you and guide you Reach up your hands, and I will embrace you. Fear not. I am with you always. I love you. So, <clears throat> those are the words that I received on Wednesday. Now, this is uh, <laughs> the second time or so, actually, third time, I'm trying to get this out. So I'm going to, unless something really bad happens, I'm going to let this thing run, okay? But I had some things I wanted to try to do and explain to you. Um, I've got a little pointer here. I'm going to point the things behind my head. So I hope it shows up on the screen. I tried to point them on the screen, uh, and they didn't show up. So now I'm going to actually hit the object I'm discussing. And uh, hopefully the description will tell you what it is. If you can't see the little red dot, I've got a little pointer here. So, here we go. Let's see here. Uh, there's that one. Not too good backwards. Okay, let's see. Where are we? Okay, there we go. Let me go this way. Well, I don't know if you can see that. It says, Child of Yahuwah. And that's where it starts. It starts as being a son of God, the Most High. And that's what that one says. Now let's see if we can get over. <laughs> well, yes, not too coordinated we are. Okay, what that says is sonship rights. And as the Son of God, <clears throat> we have been given sonship rights. It's a right of being a son or a daughter of the Most High. We have the right, the sonship right of righteousness, sanctification, justification, redemption, and we've been given the ministry of reconciliation. So that's what that one says. See if this, is on. this one here, you can see that is an original oil painting by my father. Um, if you can't make it out, what it is is uh, he was a big Indianapolis 500 fan. So, and he was, you know, the old school. So those are the older style race cars racing around the track. 
And what that reminds us of is that we're in a race and we want to run the race and we want to finish. We don't want to become disqualified. And the race can be pretty fast, it can be pretty grueling at times, but we've got to do what it takes to hang in there and finish the way the Lord wants us to finish. Okay, let's see what we got here. Okay, this map is, let's see, here we go, you can see that, I think, maybe. This is Voice of the Martyrs map. And it reminds me to pray for our brothers and sisters that are undergoing persecution right now. The darker areas are areas that are undergoing persecution right now where Christianity uh, is extremely um, <clears throat> restricted and people are being um, executed. In Egypt they were crucified. Uh, other places they were being arrested or shot or beheaded or other things. Um, Europe, the United States of America, North America, and most of South America and Australia, um, the persecution hasn't intensified yet, although there are pockets in every location of persecution. <clears throat> we need to remember to pray for our persecuted brothers and sisters, because one day the Lord tarries it's going to be our turn. So remember them. Okay, let's see here. Um, sorry. Not real good at this in case you can't tell. Okay. Right there are the shells. You can probably see that a little bit. The shells are hanging by very thin threads or strings and they're to remind us that life is fragile. Uh, if they were to be cut loose from the Lord, it's like, uh, um, what is it, John, Gospel of John 15, the, the vine and the branches sort of a thing. If we were to be cut off, um, then we could hit the ground and be damaged, broken, etc. We want to remain in the vine. Jesus is is the vine and we are the branches and we are to produce fruit so it's kind of a rendition of that uh, right there that black thing um, I designed and built a solar generator and that's a battery housing um, for when they cut the power off um, I will have emergency backup power at least a limited amount and it's also to remind us you know that um, uh, you know, at times we do run on battery power. Sometimes we run ourselves down and it seems like we are running on battery power, especially if we really, really push ourselves hard. And our energy is limited outside of the Lord. We must connect into Him. We must remain plugged into Him where He can refresh and renew us. On our own, our batteries run dry and then we're done. But in Him, we can always be fret, refreshed and renewed all the time. And the final thing back here, I don't know if you're going to see this or not. I'm going to turn this thing. My head. Nope. I'm trying to get the toolbox. Anyway, there's a toolbox behind me. You can see the yellow thing. And that is, as a workman of the word, we have tools given to us by the Lord to work the Word. And in the Word, there's over 900 promises written to the believer. And each one's like a tool. And we can claim it, and we can um, exercise it, we can use it. Uh, the Lord has given us many tools with which to utilize to get His work done. So we are all workmen. Even if we're not handy men and women, we are all workmen. And the rest of it is, I'm not a better homes and gardens sort of a guy. So, no, I'm not the tidiest housekeeper, and I've got, you know, twice as much stuff in this room as should, probably should be here. But at least there are some things that have meaning. And in case you wondered, I just thought I would share that with you. Uh, just a little side note, do with it what you will. Uh, the rumors continue to abound this weekend, the 14th through the 16th. 
they're doing some sort of cyber banking drill. Um, some people think uh, that could lead into financial problems. I don't know if it will or not. Um, <clears throat> after that, they have uh, various other little scenarios planned. The government, speaking of the government, um, all month long, there's all kinds of stuff planned. Uh, according to the news, we have Iranian warships heading to the East Coast. According to the news, there's a group of uh, ships, warships off of our East Coast already. Um, one news source cited 57. Uh, I don't know if that's an old news source or if it's current. Um, some news sources talk about comet strikes uh, to occur in, um, I think it's um, March of this year. You know, again, rumors are rumors, okay? And we've seen dozens and dozens of rumors come and go with nothing happening. However, where there is smoke, usually there is fire. Someday, uh, things are going to happen. We've been warned in the written word, the prophetic word, um, and we just need to be prepared, stay in a high state of preparedness and readiness. Don't allow yourself to get um, worn out or talked out of uh, being prepared. And it's not just you, it's somebody else. It could be your family, it could be a loved one, it could be a neighbor, it could be a co-worker. Uh, or, you know, who knows, it could be the last person uh, that the Lord has called at this time to join the body or to uh, join the bride, and that might be it. Boom. Then uh, the rescue mission occurs, etc. So we just don't know. We know there's things in the written word. We know things are happening. And we know there's earthquakes going on all over the place. We know the sun is throwing out solar flares. On and on and on. There's, you know, debris, junk in outer space headed our way. Um, <clears throat> our government's out of control. There's always the threat of martial law. You know, all these rumors. Well, you know, someday they're going to happen. We don't know what day. Until that day, just keep living for the Lord as best you can. Study His Word. Pray, pray, pray. Always pray. Um, remember those less fortunate than yourselves. And whatever position you are in, uh, try to help. And, um, you know, until next time, I mean, as the Lord continues to give me words, I'll put them up until I can no longer put them up. Or until he doesn't give me any more words to share. But as long as he shares them, and we have internet and capabilities, then um, I plan on putting them up unless he changes things. But until that time, we'll just keep going. Um, I love you guys. Thank you for putting up with me. I am a little bit different probably than the normal person you run into. Uh, but I love you all with a deep love. And um, I tried to get to some emails and some comments on the last videos. I tried to respond to them. Some of them got lost. I apologize for that. Uh, I will try to respond as best I can. Um, but you know, sometimes it's not immediate. I've got a big long list of things that's keeping me pretty busy also. So please bear with me. I love you guys. Until next time, may Yah bless you.